And of course, you're way more connected to it. But even when I saw that one time when Diddy was like, they talked, and you was like, no, they didn't. Mm. Oh, yeah, that wasn't, yeah. And that, that uh, I reached out to him, he didn't want to talk. That wasn't true. Right. That wasn't true. Wow. That, like, I think like two nights later, he said, I reached out to Chris and he didn't want to talk. That wasn't true. Right. Was so you had a relationship with Will Smith. Yes. Yeah, and, and I think that I'm in a position, too, where I'm like, oh, man, you know, I love Chris. Chris and I have been together for so many years, so on and so forth. And Will changed my life when I did the Right, the, the, right, right. So if I was put in a crazy position, I can't imagine. You Tony. saw the special. It, mm -hmm. You saw the pain in my brother's face when he kept yeah. saying, yo, my, I love this guy. I've always loved this dude. I have loved this dude for years. Yeah. All, we've always championed this guy. He was the guy. We was like, yo, we made it when he, like, we would collectively as black people, black and brown people, yeah, we man. Will, like, yo, we made it. Yeah. All That's why was I was doing. watching it that night. Right. You know what I'm saying? And no, I was still watching the NBA. Yeah, yeah. of course. You know, <laughs> with your snacks. I'm like, I want him to win, but Portland's yeah. playing yeah. Orlando. Somebody. <laughs> hey, man, so as a brother, do you want to just go off right then? Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. And this ain't like, Tough talk. This is my brother. This I'm not gangster. I'm not the guy that's yeah. you know. I'm not waving a flag and all. This is my brother, man. My my dad said if your brother's in a fight, you want to fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you immediately like when when Chris called you up and he said, "Be cool, calm but, down." But he said, "Hey, he said he said I know you somewhere plotting revenge. Be cool, yeah. <laughs> be cool." He know you. And then when he said, "I'm going out." On the road, I'm gonna start these dates. I knew. Okay. He said that the same. No, night? that was like later on. It was like yeah, yeah, later yeah. on. It's like, hey, I'm gonna start touring and like. So you, you know, knew. I knew. Okay, we gonna get him back. All this material. gonna, gonna get him back something. his way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Damn. Had you seen Will since then? I have not. Yeah, you, that was a stupid question not. too because you're sitting here in front of us. You're not in prison. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I have not. I have not. And he listen. He doesn't owe me anything. People right. keep saying he doesn't owe me anything. I just thought we were better than that. My phone number has never changed, so I just thought I'd get a phone call one day. Like, hey man, let's just you and I just talk. You know, mm -hmm. it hasn't happened, so I, I guess it's not going to happen. Did you know that the material was coming? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I had heard. I heard heard snippets. Yeah, I heard snippets. He didn't. He never did. On the special that night, he did it in its entirety. On the right. tour, he would do right. little yeah. snippets of it. You would yeah. hear little pieces, but I didn't know it was going to be that grand. Really? Yeah. Hey, man, would you had waited that long? And it, the waiting time is your waiting time, and right. I thought that it was genius. Could you had said, no, you know what, I'm going to build on this. I'm going to build. I'm going to put something together. Or do you think you, Tony, you, you would have went right No, out? I totally – well, I would have probably – I I might not have waited. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have waited. With the Oscars has still went on that night. Oh no no no. Yeah yeah yeah. That's no, what I no, yeah no, I kind of no, figured. So. No, yeah. but uh, <laughs> he said the Oscars would have been done that night. Nobody getting no more awards. We we gotta do this another night. Po postpone postpone. But uh, now that I see what he did, right, it was brilliant. Yeah, he, he it was calculated. It was like uh, people want to hear my response. Everybody said had something to say about it. But nobody ever heard from him. Exactly. Every radio host, every podcast, every you know, news everybody, outlet, everybody, media, yeah. news outlets, every morning show, everybody spoke about it except for him. So if everybody's waiting for me, to hear me say something about it, you're gonna see hear me say something about it on my time. Right. When I'm ready in my forum. Right. In my gym. In yeah. my boxing ring. Yeah. This is my boxing ring. This is my full court. This is where I play. So you hear it. On my terms. And so his I, audience is grand. Right. Like, I get people that'll run up on me and be like, Big, what do you feel about it? I'm like, bro, if I want to address that, I have a show right. that hits millions of people, bro. Like, right. I don't need to say it right, right there. So I can see where Chris was coming That's from. That's why people that. do stuff on their social media. It's like, I have 400,000 followers. I'll do it here. Right, right. On my stage, you know. Does that make you write different? Now, I don't know what your show is that's coming up. Does it make me write? Yeah. Do, 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 do you address? Uh, no, I say a little something about right. it, but I, I don't. it probably won't make the special. I mean, because then they'll be following that. Right, And yeah. I don't want to have to follow that. Yeah, yeah. Were you in the audience that night when Chris did it? No, no, I was on the road. Oh, okay. I was on the road. Yeah, yeah you was like, man, I got to do mine. Yeah. Too, <laughs> I was you know in Buffalo saying? and I was watching on my phone. I had a link and I was like, oh! <laughs> hey, man, and just just uh, one last thing on that, too, on, on the Oscar night, bro. Had you watched it in its entirety, when and I'm talking about from the whole, you know, the joke, the keep the name out the mouth kind of thing. Did right. you watch all that? Because as a brother, man, I'm sitting here, bro, and I'm mad. <laughs> you know, and, and that's real talk, man. Yeah, so true. You know how somebody will say, "Oh, after a fight, you got to watch the video," and that's got to be hard right. to watch the video. Right? Did you watch that entire? I watched thing? it in its entirety. 
I watched that nobody assisted my brother. I watched that. Uh, that was a shame. That he said when he won the award, the devil. And that was a shame. Chris Rock is almost 60 years old. And to think that nobody tried to assist him um, after him being slapped on national television was odd. Now, I know people panicked, but a lot of people dropped the ball that night. First off, security, I don't care who Will Smith is, unless you get, unless you get a heads up that they're doing this bit and Will Smith is going to walk on the stage, he shouldn't be allowed to get on the stage. Somebody should have been there to stop him. Who is stopping access from people running up on the stage? That's something they have at most concerts. You know, why should it be any difference? Because you're in a room full of celebrities. But the fact that nobody helped Chris up and Tony registered this is really sad. You know, it makes you really think about the situation. It's it's kind of interesting a year later and we're now just doing the forensics of what actually happened and the 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 things that were missed, you know? Nobody assisted my brother. I watched that, uh, that he said when he won the award, the devil's always working. So, like, that was the devil? A joke was the devil? Mm. A joke was the devil putting his work in. I think the devil does a little bit more sinister work than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I saw that uh, Samuel and uh, I think it was Denzel comforted Will, but yeah. didn't say anything to my brother. Mm. Uh, I saw that. I was a little. It was a couple of things that I saw that were like, "Wow, that's interesting." I saw, but you know, I saw that. Uh, uh, you know, the production company kept it going. Yeah. You know, the first night that it's a black production, and he acted like the ultimate N word. They just said, "Keep it going." I saw that. Mm -hmm. Man. You know, I saw that he still. My brother had to keep his composure, and like you said, my, our parents told us, "Don't front, fight in front of white people." But uh, mommy would have had to be mad that night. Yeah, yeah. Mommy would have been mad that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, this goes into am I my brother's keeper? You know what I mean? Like this is this is old school stuff where you know if your brother's in a fight, we all in a fight. I'm glad that Tony was given those principles. I feel like some of those principles are gone. People don't understand them anymore. They're old school. But this could have been a real issue. You know, depending on who his family is. And the rocks are just as deep as the weigh-ins. You know what I mean? Like, that's what people don't know. They have multiple <laughs> brothers and sisters. So you can get snuck up on anywhere if you're Will Smith. I guess Will Smith walks with security. But still, you know, could have been a real issue uh, just, just, just by the impulsive nature of it. But you have to... Do the research. You have to do the emotional work on why Will Smith got to that place. And I've talked to it in some of the other videos. Um, Melanie King did a real good job on breaking down why Jada caused some of this. And I did a reaction to that. Jada Pinkett being a catalyst for Will Smith acting in such a, a non acting in such a non-masculine way. Especially, you know, slapping somebody. You don't get no points for slapping anybody. And Chris even said it. You played Ali. Yeah, pick pick a better opponent than Pookie, you know. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Tony Rock. I, I know he has a, a special coming up that he's about to do, which is going to be his first special. I want y'all to go check that out and support it. Because he is funny. He's also an accomplished comedian on his own. And he's making a monumental shift. I'm seeing a lot of comedians has been in the game. Shout out to Steve Turner. Getting their first specials out here in the open. And, you know, it's, it's, it's huge. Because, you know, we got our legend class of comedians. But we need that next, that next round of greatness to come through. But anyway, if you like this video... Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification for all uploads. This is Fawcett Media.